It is 34 minutes into Game 1 of Shopify Rebellion vs OG in the Grim League Season 20 group stage. Shopify still has all Tier 2 towers standing with a 16k goal lead, in addition to having a Rex advantage over OG. The game looks to be heavily favoured towards Shopify, and Dota Plus predicts a 93% win probability at this point for them. Shopify is looking to take a pick off and a good fight, eyeing the remaining Rexes. At this time, DM on Venomenta steps into a mine setting himself up for Miracle on Batrider for an easy pickoff. On first glance, this looks to be a game-winning fight for Shopify. But this is the first turnaround moment for OG. As Sabrelight on Beastmaster casts his roar, BZM on Timberso activated Lotus Op on himself, reflecting the roar to Sabrelight. Simultaneously, Sep on Magnus kept an eye on Miracle and blinks in to go for an RP. I know what you're thinking. So here silences Global Silence cooldown. Still 5 seconds off at the moment, Set casts RP. This turned the fight from good to bad for Shopify, as Tiger on Rubik steals the raw and now Shopify is down 2 cores. While this doesn't seem great, the rest of Shopify managed to get away and as Miracle respawned around 36 minutes, the win probability for Shopify was still about 80%. Both teams know that the third Roshan was respawning, and the game goes into a stalemate as they waited and danced around the top Rosh pit. Perhaps wary of the better late game scaling of Magnus Juggernaut against their own lineup, Shopify seemed content with only staying near the Rosh pit. On the opposing side, OG seemed like they had prioritised securing the high ground with the Twin Gates and this high ground would be key to winning the game. Fast forward to 3930. Roshan has respawned and BZM shows bottom. This gives Shopify the signal to go for Rosh. Note that this is a timber saw with boots of travels and octarine core, so this is the smallest of windows, as his TP cooldown is only 10 seconds when Shopify started running into the pit. Noting the timer, Roshan is about to change pits. I will now let the rest of the broadcast play to let you have context of the fight. Batrider Manta will be used to deward, an excellent purchase. And Timber is TPing, so they're gonna have five members for OG. Roche is at half health. So OG gonna have to do something pretty soon. Although Shopify exit the Roche pit, and of course with these plague wards, you have a lot of information. And now that Roche oh, yeah. will be coming to the other side. Okay, OG's it's breaking gonna go down. First. And now we're gonna have the fight. Miracle runs into the entirety of OG, has to pop his BKB. Crit, in the meantime, taking a lot of damage, but there's the RP used onto Miracle with the Omni Slash, and that's gonna be enough to take him out. Does have buyback, Crit will die as well. I assume both will use their buybacks here. The Nullifier onto Arteez, he has to be a bit careful. Roar finally comes out, but Saber Light dies shortly after. This is an absolutely horrible fight for Shopify to start things out. They've barely done any damage. Arteez just trying to fight against the entirety of OG, but it's not gonna happen. And he does not have buyback. Fly is dead. They've killed four members and forced out three buybacks without losing a single member for OG. They were just there faster. Jeff, if I were trying to do a mix of TPing down and using the gate, and they were just, you see OG are just set up. They're there with three heroes, Miracle runs in, he gets caught immediately, they pop the global, and while this is happening, look, Shop if I have such a long connection path. How did this end up happening? Did they TP on their tier two instead of the outpost? I guess so. With that, we can take a closer look. My initial reaction while watching the game live was that this TP by crit to the bottom outpost lost them the fight, and subsequently the game. But remember when I said that this high ground would be key? Watching back the different players' perspectives, Yuragi was the first to ping and use the Twin Gates. Despite not having the vision, OG knew that Shopify cannot risk the multiple man RP and couldn't risk putting 3 or even 2 heroes in the Roche pit with a Magnus waiting. They knew Shopify's only option if they wanted to kill Roche was to have RTZ try to solo it. And that wasn't enough time to kill Roche. Seeing Beastmaster creeps outside the pit was the confirmation to take the fight on bottom, and OG's control of the Twin Gate high ground forced the awkward reaction from Shopify. Crit TPs towards the bottom outpost while Sabrelight, Fly, and RTZ TPs to the tier 2. Meanwhile, Miracle uses Boots of Travels to TP to the creep wave. This slight miscommunication in where to TP to meant that Crit and Miracle went ahead of their team. And perhaps this would have worked out if OG's target was the Roche. Except this wasn't the case. As Yuragi led the charge running away from the Roche pit, 
Their objective was never Roshan, but to take an advantageous positioning for a fight. Unsuspecting of the enemies on the high ground, Crit and Mirika were simply unable to 2v5. Shopify's desperation to end the game against a better scaling lineup evaporated their net worth as they spent their resources on buybacks after buybacks. All this despite being unable to rejoin the fight due to TP cooldown. By the time RTZ respawns, OG is up a comfortable 9000 net worth with AGs and Chiefs and the game has completely swung to OG with a 56% win probability. Shopify's desperation is only more apparent as Miracle tries to go for a solo kill on BZM using his Refresher op. He wants to go for it. There's the lasso to start things out. Refresher, double lasso. You can see oh, the God. flame break doing so much damage as well because of that 25 talent. But BZM, he's going to be fine. And that is a full refresher used. BZM walks it off. Haste. At this point, OG's path to victory was just too easy. They only needed to right click towers and not die. One last fight started by a slight mispositioning from RTZ seals the deal. It's a fight, oh, RTZ, RTZ initiated and gets sheeped and telekinesis, but there's a global science to try to save him. Getting swift slash for now, nullifier and BKB. Get up, RP from Seb, but he can't really get a good skewer off. And RTZ is still really low, completely segregated from the rest of his team, and he's dead. 95 I'll seconds of no Bloodseeker. And Miracle completely surrounded by members of OG. And he's gonna drop as well. No buyback as well. And that is GG. OG victory. So, the next time you find yourself in this situation where Rose is changing pits and you know the enemy will contest it, perhaps you can find controlling the Twin Gates high ground a better option rather than trying to contest Roche itself.